Hey guys, what's up? I'm making another video today, and in this video, I am actually building a 1977 Firebird Trans Am. If uh, this car was actually in the movie Smokey and the Bandit, if you guys have ever seen that, it's a pretty old movie, so a lot of you probably have not seen it. But I'm basically I'm gonna keep the stock paint and the stock rims, and I'm gonna fully modify this car so I can try and make it as fast as I can. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Sorry if you guys just heard a bit of static for some reason. But putting in the inner cooler. Uh, wait. I'm looking at the performance index. I'm just gonna put that in. So platform and handling, we're gonna put on race brakes. Uh, we're gonna put on race springs and dampers so we can lower it. Race anti-roll bars front and rear. We're gonna put a roll cage in it for the weight distribution. Uh, we want weight reduction too, so. Drivetrain, we wanna put a race clutch. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. Race transmission, race driveline and a race differential and for tires and rims like I said I'm gonna leave the rim stock because I want it to look like the car that was in the movie uh, let's make the tires wider let's make the rear as wide as possible the rims I'm gonna leave them I think that's pretty much it front bumper we don't want to do that the hood. No, I'm gonna leave it stock. It's only a difference of a couple pounds, so. Okay. So, 3,200 pounds, 1,500 horsepower. Okay. This car is gonna be pretty fast, I can tell. It, it is a little bit heavy, but with the gearing and everything, I'm sure that's fixable. Well, not really fixable, but how it's tuned will make up for the weight, I guess. Wait for it to load, okay. So as you can see, it sounds like almost every other car in the game that you always hear. It has the V12 engine in it, and I just crashed, because I'm good at that. Okay, let's do a little pull. I, I kind of messed up. I think I was spinning actually, so. Okay. Whoop. Sorry if you guys just heard my dog because it was barking. Someone walking by. Drifting a little bit right there. And I'm just trying not to wreck right now. I always end up wrecking when I'm trying to do something. As, like right now, I'm probably gonna hit that. Nope, never mind. I almost did though. Let's see if I can try and get. Let's see if I can get the top speed get to the top speed actually I'm in fourth gear or fifth gear and I was at 195 so I'm guessing it'll top out around 220 230 which is really fast for a car with the stock gearing it might be faster than the dart if it's tuned right but I have no idea it might not be actually. The dart is pretty fast if it's driven right. We're at 170. I just wrecked again. Well, kind of. Let's try this again. 180, 190, 200, 220. Oh, oh I wrecked again. I'm not good at driving at this kind of speed. Could be because there's no power steering. 
a muscle car, so cars back then did not have power steering. Why they were actually called muscle cars? It's because you had to be relatively strong to turn the car at a certain speed. So they did not handle the best. Okay, I'm slowing down here. I think I'm gonna tune the car, actually. See what kind of top speed I can get out of this car. And once again, if you guys just heard static, sorry about that. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna bring the top speed down a lot. Or not the top speed. I'm gonna bring the, uh, what they call the Let's see what kind of speed we can get. Um, let's see. Try and bring my 0 to 100 time down too. See how low I can get that. Oh, let's see, 267, or no, 269.7, so it's almost as fast as the car in my last video, it had a top speed of 270, exactly, so it was pretty fast, you guys should watch that video if you haven't already. My springs. To make them my springs and the anti roll bars are all as stiff as possible, and the alignment is all zero. Cast stock, I select that. Um, damping, I'm gonna make it as stiff as possible for the bump stiffness in the front and rear. I'm gonna leave it. Differential, I'm gonna make the acceleration 100% on the front and rear, and the deceleration, I'm gonna make zero on both of them. Balance, I think I'm gonna bring it to 72% to the rear. So it'll act a little bit more like a real wheel drive car. But since I did that, I'm gonna lower the tire pressure in the front and the rear. I think it actually left the, I think it actually left the 0 to 60 time the same, but it's made the 0 to 100 time go down, which is good. So I'm actually going to drive it just a little bit. As you can see, it didn't spin too much right there. That was really fast. I was not expecting that. Let's see if we can hit top speed. Okay, yeah, never mind. I'm just gonna do the drag race now because there's a lot of cars. So let's do the Outback drag strip. I want to do S2 class. And now we're on a loading screen. Knowing. Tell me if you guys want me to do any cars or anything in the comments down below. And uh, tell me if you guys want to see some more gameplay in Blizzard Mountain, because I recently got that. Okay, I spawned a lot on that launch. Still pretty fast, though. I'm going 200 miles per hour, and I'm not even halfway done with the race. 230, 250, my time looks like it was a 21.2, so I guess that's it for this video guys, remember to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, see you in my next video, peace out.